Hi, today's Pixelmator tutorial is on creating a faux 3D effect. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is to create some text. Now that I have my text, let's go ahead and rename this Original Text. We need to preserve this layer, so let's go ahead and duplicate it by dragging and dropping so we maintain our alignment. And let's convert this layer to pixels. We can go ahead and turn off that original layer. And we're going to rename this layer just Text. I'd like to go ahead and change this, the color of this text, and let's go ahead and apply a gradient. Uh, let's go with a nice blue here. And also, don't forget, we do have to select the text. And that's backwards. Let's turn it around. Actually, I'd like to be a little bit darker with that. Let's see. Let's go with this one. And backwards. Much better. And Command D to deselect. Okay, the next thing I like to do is to go ahead and add a simulated uh, bevel effect on my text. And to do that, we need to go ahead and duplicate, or not duplicate, I'm sorry, uh, add a new layer. And then we'll Command click on our thumbnail here to get ourselves a selection. However, this time, let's make it a little bit larger. So let's go over to Edit, Refine Selection, and let's add probably about, let's say, three pixels to that. Now let's make it four. Let's say OK. And then what we'll do is we'll go to our, our paint bucket. We've got white selected, and we'll fill that selection with white. Command Deselect. Okay, I'd like to add a soft gradient to this white text. So let's uh, select our gradient tool and let's see. Um, let's try this one here. Now we do have to select our text by command clicking the thumbnail. Actually, we're going to command click on the bevel layer because it was the expanded layer. And then we're going to apply a nice soft gradient to the bevel layer. Command D to deselect and let's go ahead and drag this bevel layer underneath our text. I think that looks pretty good. I've kind of gotten into the habit of going ahead and preserving my original layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to duplicate these two layers. So we'll duplicate this one uh, and this one. And then we'll turn those first two originals off. I'm sorry, we'll turn this one off and this one off. And then we'll just put this one here with that one. All right. So now then, we've got these two layers here we're going to work with. And let's go ahead and merge them together. Whoops. I just want to merge these two together. Okay. And let's go ahead and let's see. Let's rename this. Uh, bevel text again. Okay. And again, let's go ahead and duplicate that layer. And we'll turn off this one. Now this one here, we're actually going to transform. So let's go ahead and go over. Let's select the Move tool. And then under the gear icon, uh, we'll hit Transform. And then under the gear icon again, we'll hit Perspective. What we'll do is we'll grab one of these two top corners, either or, and then we're going to move them slightly towards each other. That looks about right. Okay, so now we have our transformed text. Go ahead and click OK. Now we're ready 
for our extrusion layer. So let's go ahead and add a new layer. Let's command click the bevel text copy layer. And then let's, uh, we're going to fill this with uh, another gradient. Let's make it a little bit darker this time. And let's go from dark from the bottom. Oops, I'm backwards again. And we're just going to pull a nice gradient in about right there. Okay, Command D to deselect. And now this is going to be our extrusion layer, so we make sure it's highlighted. And let's go ahead and we're going to click, we're going to hold down Option Command, and then we're going to hit the down arrow about 20 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'm showing that I have 19 copies over here. All right, this is our extrusion layer, okay? Going over here to the layers palette, we'll leave this top one highlighted, and let's go all the way back down to our first layer copy here, and hold shift and click on that. And then we're going to merge all of these layers into one layer. Okay, and then let's see, this is our extrusion layer. Now let's go ahead and, and name that while we're here so we don't forget what it is. Okay, so that's our extrusion, and we can actually turn that off. And we're going to take our bevel text copy, and we're going to put it above or on the very top. And there we have a pretty good simulated or faux 3D text. I apologize. I said this was the extrusion, and it's actually not. This is the extrusion original. So let me go ahead and correct that now. And then this layer is actually our extrusion. I guess I better put a T in there. Okay. Well, we're not going to stop here. Next, let's kind of put a shiny effect on it. So highlight your top layer. Let's add a new layer. Get our elliptical tool. And let's drag out an ellipse. I like it. I like it about right there. Let's get our paint bucket. Make sure we're on white. We'll fill that puppy with white. Come back over here. Command click on this uh, uh, thumbnail for your bevel text layer. Go into edit, invert selection, and hit your delete key. Command D to deselect. And then with this layer selected, come in and let's pull this. Shine layer down, oh, say around about 18%. Okay, well, we could stop there, but I'm not ready. Let's go ahead and add a new layer. Um, let's see, and then let's uh, command click on this bevel text layer. And let's go ahead, we've got our bucket tool selected. Let's hit X get our background color and let's fill that with black. Command D to deselect and let's see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply a Gaussian blur to this layer mm, probably around I say about somewhere around 8 pixels that ought to work now then we're going to name this layer the sh uh, we're going to name it drop shadow and then we're going to pull this layer down below the extrusion layer and with our move tool selected let's go ahead and hold down the arrow key and then we're just going to pull that down until it looks like our text is just hovering off the ground layer, the ground plane, and then of course let's go in and let's take the opacity down. I say around 65%. That looks pretty good. Alright, so our text looks just kind of plain sitting out there in the middle of nowhere. So let's go ahead back to our original background layer. I'm going to apply a gradient to that. 
let's see. Actually, um, let's turn it around and see what happens. I don't know. I liked it either way. But at any rate, mind you, this is absolutely a very simple and easy technique doing simple extrusions for text or any other uh, 2D object. Uh, it's fundamental. Uh, you can expand on this. You can add and subtract from it. Uh, use your creativity. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.